Good morning everyone and welcome to the mall. Ladies and gentlemen, another day, another royal event. Today is the Trooping the Colour, the very first Trooping the Colour for His Majesty King Charles III. We're back to our normal routine, my lovelies. We've got the massive royal parade. We're going to have a flyover. We're going to have the return royal parade. 1,500 troops, 200 horses, every member of the royal family. This is going to be a special day. Keep an eye, just to give you an eye what's happening now. It's getting a little busier, but nothing too hectic. Nothing like we're used to, guys. It's two of the soldiers are just hanging out here, being sociable with everybody, taking photographs with everybody. Watch this. He's doing his little selfie stick, bless him. How lovely, very sweet. And I was just reading up there, Prince Edward, Princess Anne, Prince William and Prince Charles will be on horseback in a row together. So that's going to be pretty special. First monarch to be on horseback in a Trooping the Colour since 1986. He has confirmed he will be riding on horseback to the parade, guys. That would be pretty cool. Foot guards will be lining the route very shortly as security, always when the Sovereign is on parade. And the Queen, Princess of Wales, and Prince Louis, Prince, Princess Charlotte, and Prince George will be in attendance today as well. So we always get a good kick out of Louis, don't we guys? He's always a bit of fun on the balcony. So we'll see how it's going to work, the security with the balcony. but. Here are the mounted police on the way. These poor people have stood behind me and they're going to be tortured by running commentary through the whole thing. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to be... So the great honour is always given to the Metropolitan Police of leading every parade, ladies and gents. All their horses here are specialist horses and they're being trained to deal with the public and screams and shouts and loud banging. These horses are spectacular and trained for these ceremonies. Here comes our first regiment, you guys. Exciting. I can't believe King Charles left it so late. It's 10 o'clock and he's only leaving Clarence House. He's supposed to be on horseback in 10 minutes. So we're watching here, but we're also watching here. And here we go. So we have the Irish band on the way, you guys. First regiment down. I'm not moving the camera because this is going to be the best vantage point I can get for you. of the Cold Stream Guard, ladies and gents, Cold Stream Guards. First regiment down. And then straight away we're panning the camera. regiment down my lovely so I expect the king is gonna come out of here now they'll have to bring him up now surely
Unless they've decided to take him around the back. Possibly gone around the back. Is the motorbike still there? The gates are open though, so this is rather curious. But in the meantime, here come Scott's band and the, I'll see it now by their plumes in a minute, looks like the Irish Guard. Unlikely though, because they'd have maybe the Wolfhound with them today, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Oh yeah, this is, this is definitely happening over here in a second, guys, because they're ready to go. They're waiting for the regiment to pass. This could be the Queen now, it might be the King. Okay, who do we have here? We have the Scots Band, followed by, I'll see in just a moment. I love their little shuffle here. Watch this, guys. We always enjoy this. We're going to get one right in front of us now as so. well. down to join us now. Let's stand in front of us. Oh yeah, he's a bit further away, which is great. There we go. And the pipes and drums. been practicing this for weeks of course I believe there's something like 131 commands that they'll have to obey today everything has to be done with extreme precision Once the pipes and whistles stop, now the uh, brass band will play up again. I love this because it kind of startles people. stream guards followed by the Irish guard ladies and gents and there's the Irish guard And here we have the Scots Band and the Scots Guard, ladies and gents. And 
110% movement coming on the other side in two minutes. Regiment on the way. I'm assuming it should be the Welsh Guard. Or the Coldstream Guard, maybe. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think this is the Welsh Guard on the way. Where's the Grenadiers, maybe? Let's have a look. I just have to wait to see the uh, colour and their plume on their bare skin. Welsh Guard folks. Welsh band followed by the Welsh Guard. Pipes and whistles again until the brass band kick off. All carrying the new flag bearer colours for King Charles III, different one for each regiment. So when you look down there, it's pretty special. <laughs> I think he's late, you know. I think they're getting a bit annoyed. They're like, where is he? Oh, here we go. Right, so this is going to be the king coming out of Clarence House, you guys. The king and queen. You ready to go? He's going to come in the Bentley, so you'll see the car coming out the front. So he's finally on his way. I'm surprised he's a little late. Here's the Bentley, yeah. Here he comes, here he comes. Give him a wave, ladies and gents. You'll always get the royal wave. Here he comes. God, he's super late. It's like 25 past 10. Come on, King. There he is. There's the King and Queen, I guess, together. 
There you go, the screaming starts. There they are, on the way to the palace. And he will be on horseback in just a few moments, you guys. All right. Oh, yeah. Do you see them coming already, you guys, there, down the side? So we'll just see them here. Royal salute, they're getting ready. So here we go, guys. There's no major excitement, so I don't expect there's any royal family in this one. Oh, there's a few clapping, yeah. Here we go. It's a very reserved crowd today. Who have we got first? Oh, it looks like, oh yes, the prince, Princess of Wales. Oh no, Princess Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, I believe. Let's have a look. The Duchess of Edinburgh. And there is I'm quite sure actually. He's in the cars. Alright. That's the beginning anyway, but this is the sovereign's escort, you guys. So this is The Mount of Cavalry Band, and I expect very shortly we'll see the King on horseback here. He'll be surrounded by the Sovereign's Escort, the Blues and Royals. So first we have the Mount of Cavalry, then we have the Blues and Royals. I'm going to keep the camera here. see the procession coming our way guys right but I'm gonna station it here so that we have a perfect view and is on a whole yeah Princess Anne Prince William and um, Prince Charles and Prince Edward they'll be all on horseback together most likely now here's the Mounted Cavalry Band, you guys, and as mentioned, each of their uniforms costs 5,000 pounds, 50,000 a piece. I mean, it takes tremendous skill to do what they do. Performing a full live band on horseback and steering their horses with their legs. It's pretty spectacular. So this is a Sovereign's Escort, the Household Cavalry Blues and Royals Regiment, former regiment of Prince William and Prince Harry, and known as the Sovereign's Escort. Okay, so now we have the first regiment of the Blues and Royals. Sovereign's escort, so no doubt behind them we should have the king. Also cavalry, two regiments as you know of Blues and Royals and lifeguards. These are the Blues and Royals, the regiment of the, the former regiment of Prince Harry. Prince William. Prince Harry served two tours in Afghanistan with the Blues and Royals and the horses Cavalry Blacks. 
bred in Ireland for the King's service. Stunningly docile, beautiful creatures. So much so, they get a vacation every year. Three weeks on the beach in Norfolk, Norfolk on the Sandringham Estate. Yeah, so there's, I see Princess Anne. Okay, so they're gonna be in a row, guys. I'll make sure you see them properly, but we'll get a full view of the Blues and Royals on the way here. Look at that, isn't that special? Okay, so coming behind this regiment, folks, not the first batch. Here we have them. It's the first time a king has taken horseback, or a monarch, since 1986. Pretty special. And I'm assuming the queen is in this carriage behind them. Okay, so here we're looking for it. Okay, so we have a little bit of giddiness here. Right, there's Princess Anne is on the way, on the right hand side, folks. Prince King Charles, where's King Charles? I'm trying to figure out which one is King Charles. That's Princess Anne and Prince Edward. And we have the royal family. Here's the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen. And the little ones, there's Louis, Charlotte, Catherine Middleton. to spot. The king was on the front row there. There must be protesters that are running down. There's protesters somewhere anywhere, guys, I'm sure. And here we have, at the rear, the Lifeguard Regiment. Another part taking up the rear of the King's Escort, Sovereign's Escort. And that will conclude part one of today. And the pageantry is just spectacular. So in that row together, it's very difficult to see them with their Canadian bearskins on, but you did have Prince William, Prince Edward, excuse me, the Duke of Edinburgh, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, and the King himself, King Charles. I must admit, it's been a very quiet, somber, Ceremony. Usually it's a lot more screaming and roaring. The people have been pretty special. Look at that for a view, you guys. Isn't that amazing? And that concludes part one. Shortly, they will all be returning at 12:25. Okay, guys, we'll be right back again, right after. Okay, guys, so we're going to start up again any minute now. The ceremony is over. We can hear the marching bands down the end, so we expect they will be on their return journey very shortly. Here they come, the Mounted Cavalry Band, ladies and gents. Oh, no, it's the King's Troop Royal Artillery. We haven't seen these yet, you guys. These are going to be firing the cannons this afternoon. And we're hoping they'll be in Green Park. And if they are, we'll hear them. And the police are going somewhere with urgency. Here they are, the King's Troop Royal Artillery, ladies and gents. Established by King George V. 
and these are responsible for firing the cannons. So you'll see the gun carriage with them. Love the King's Troop. Heading to fire the cannons later on, guys. That will hopefully be, obviously, they're taking place in Green Park. And there is the gun carriage. As you can see, they weren't in the first parade, you guys. So, returning to Green Park, and we will hear those cannons later on. Sorry, darling. So, so, so sorry. sorry. No, no, my fault, my fault. I banged the poor lady. I'm on the step here. People don't, don't like me. Stop apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> She's very sweet. So, the royal carriage is around the way. It looks like it could be the Duchess of Edinburgh, Sophie Wessex. She came in this parade the last time, didn't she? The first she was first. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, here we have, yeah, who is it? Is it the Duke of Gloucester, is it? <laughs> yes, that's uh, the Duchess of Edinburgh. Isn't she beautiful? Let's see if we can find her properly there for you. There she is, she led the last parade. And is that the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester? And I expect that might be Michael of Kent, perhaps. Is it? I guess so, Prince Michael of Kent. Now, this is where the big parade starts, you guys, again. I mean, how incredible. the Sovereign's Escort, the Household Cavalry, Blues and Royals, the King's personal bodyguard, former regiment of Prince William and Prince Harry, Sovereign's Escort, followed in the rear by the Lifeguard Regiment, another member of the Household Cavalry. God, really. I feel like the king might be returning in a, in a royal car if he's not on horseback here. Oh no, this is, yeah, it's the parade in reverse. Yeah, it's the parade in reverse. We're good. Yeah, he will be. Yeah, he's on the way, yeah. Okay.
Okay, so this is where the king is on horseback, ladies and gents, and you'll see Princess Anne alongside Prince William and the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Edward. First time for Prince Edward on horseback, and again, I may have mentioned it before, first time a sovereign has been on horseback at the Trooping the Colour since 1986 was the last time the Queen rode to her troop. Pretty spectacular. There's, there's the king in front, ladies and gents. Have a look here, you'll see King Charles. family. Her Majesty the Queen, the Princess of Wales, Prince Louis, agitated obviously, <laughs> Princess Charlotte, and we have the Welsh Guard. Welsh Guard, followed by the Grenadier Guard, and now we have the Scots Guard. And followed up the rear by no doubt the Colonel, the Major General Gurkha, will be on parade as well, and all the senior officers of the regiment. They've worked very hard the last few weeks to make sure this went off without any hiccups. And that is the return parade. It's Major General Gurkha right there in the middle with the ostrich feathers on his plume. I uh, was interviewed and actually praised the British Army for their exceptional parade during the coronation, which went off without a hitch. And you can check out that on the channel, you guys, and all the other military parades. Trooping the Colour 2023. Next up, the flyover, folks. Okay, current situation, you guys. I see the police right here lining along, so I expect they're going to open the barriers this side. And they are playing God Save the King. And they're saluting the royal family on the balcony as we speak, but I cannot get anywhere near it right now. Just about making it out. So the police are there. They're going to... Police this area, I know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to line the police along from one side. They're going to let those in the front first and then we'll get in second, that's it. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see how we get on. So they have gone from the back of the mile, but they brought up all the first responders, emergency workers. They've all got the opportunity to get to the balcony first, which is lovely. And most likely the guests of the Troop in the Colour that bought their tickets. So they're all headed towards the balcony, but we will get on the mile for the flyover. Most the scouts and the girl guides here. There's volunteers, scouts, girl guides, the army, the navy. The fusiliers. To the ambulance crew. <laughs> it's 
So this is who's going in front of us. And this, all the guests of the troop in the color first, and all the people that were at the balcony at the back, they get to go up there first. Yeah, it's the civilized way to do it, to be honest. It's good for crowd control, but, oh no, we need to be on the mouth for the flyover. So we have to wait till all these people pass and we're actually in the worst position possible because we are the very last to get on the mouth. And that's just how it goes. Okay, current situation, we're after moving out. Until we might get somewhere close, we're hoping. I come up the side here. Okay, guys, this is the best I've ever got. I've never got this far before. Right, I'm getting there. We're going to get some view anyway. If we could get around the front is what we need. Oh my god, I'm getting closer, guys. I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. This is pretty special. Oh, we're doing it, we're doing it, folks. We'll get around there. Oh my god, I don't care. Even if I get a slight view, I don't mind. I'm going to go around the side here. Are you with me? Oh, wow. This is the closest I've ever got. This is absolute perfection. Are you there, honey? Here we go. Oh, God, guys, look at this. Look at this. I got your back, people. Oh, my God, I'm going to get closer. Fantastic. This is the best I've ever got. Here we are. Now, that isn't too bad, guys. Are you with me, honey? Yep. Good girl. Look how close we got. Oh, this lady's with us. Fantastic. This is all we need. Now what I do need... Oh my god, this is the closest I've ever got. But more importantly, I need a shot of the flyover as well. This is perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Stay tuned guys. Here we go, 12.55. And counting. Oh, well, there are the cannons for... Do you hear it in the background, guys? Oh my god, the cannons for King Charles. So this is where we got. This is pretty cool. The firing of the cannons taking place. I think I might be able to put down my bag now. That's what I'm going to be able to do now. Ooh. This is what we have to focus on. There we go. I cannot believe this. This is so nice. Look at the Royal Standard, folks. Look at the palace. Okay, honey. So they're firing the cannons in the background, you guys. You might just about make them out. Helicopters. Are they on the way? But the balcony, they should be out. Oh, here they come. Here they come. I 
outside so bad, so I'll just leave the filming. And here comes the flyover straight away. Here comes the right house. Right behind us. Look at it. Right behind us, here we go. Ready? Is it the Red Arrows? Oh no, it's not yet. Oh, the Lancaster and the Spitfire is coming up. Right. Let's get back again, guys. Oh my, wow. It's the noise. Yeah, the engines are unbelievable. We kind of prefer the family right now don't we see how close we got this is great oh these are fast he's watching the royal family and i watch the flyover Is Louis behaving himself? I saw that on the news this morning, yeah. I think this is their last flyover, isn't it? Yeah, they've been going on a tour I'm sure you guys will be. Prince Louis is delighted. Now here we go again. We'll turn around again. Wow. Right, that was impressive. Not much more now but the red arrows, isn't it? There we go. Now that takes skill flying something so fast besides something that's slow. 300 miles an hour they're going, isn't it? It's pretty impressive. King and Queen and 
full-blown conversation. His Prince Louis seems to be looking after himself or behaving himself. Let's have a look. I'd say now we have the final one. We're waiting for the big boys. And you'll know by the sound of them. So I'm going to turn around and get the royal family again. There we have. Here they come, I think. So the red arrows. Here they come. There they are, the red arrows. Yes, watch this one, go over the palace. the national anthem. Ladies and gents, is the Troopy the Colour 2023. King Charles I's first, first Troopy the Colour birthday parade. I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. Thanks for watching, my lovelies. Sinead signing out here with free tours by Foot London in an absolutely packed crowd. Hope you enjoyed that, my lovelies. Please accept my apologies about the filming. I did the best I possibly could. Hope you had a fantastic day, as much fun as I did. Sinead signing out here with free tours by Foot London.